Xinjiang, welcome to uh, Hanoi train station. We're about to do a train journey like no other. It's 24 hours long. It was actually someone for the hotel who booked our room, so we don't know, really know what it's going to be like in our cabins. Um, I'm hoping for a kind of Orient Express, that sort of thing, that kind of vibe going on. Um, just really looking forward to getting a luxurious night's sleep aboard the Reunification Express. Let's see how the rooms are looking. space that has been provided for me. Um, I'm looking forward to spending the next day uh, just hanging out in this. I mean, yeah, I've got nearly two feet to spread myself out in. Uh, should be good, should, should be good. Um, I'll let you know how I get on. See you later. See you in a couple of hours. See you in a couple of hours, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so hi, the time, on oh, wrong camera, the time is uh, five o'clock. Uh, we have now done 19 hours of our journey. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the, the night was difficult. Uh, the morning was quite tough as well, wasn't it? And this afternoon has been pretty trying. Yeah. But apart from that, I mean, it's going really, really well. Um, highlights so far? Coming into Danai, it was very beautiful. Uh, we were in the mountains, we could see the coastline from afar. We were across the massive land of water. So, yeah, land of water. A land of water. We were across a big land of water, everybody. Geography A level student, teeny curtain there. After 25 hours and over a thousand kilometers of travel, we reached our destination, Natran. It had been a once-in-a-lifetime train journey. Never again.